Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this video, I am going to talk about how we can use Power Apps Express Design. This is the new feature that has been rolled out during Microsoft Build 2022 and it re really excites me. The highlight is around, let's say if you have any type of form like any handwritten form and you want to convert it into Power Apps, just take a picture, upload it to your Power Apps and it will automatically create model behind the scene and you will get ready to it power apps. Now it looks really interesting. In the past we always had an imagination that let's say I have something which I will in handwritten form on my paper and when I upload it it will create automatic power app for me and now that become a reality. So let's explore this feature in detail. This feature is using behind the scene cognitive model. So now let's explore that in depth. So over here in this demo, I'm going to process this interview scheduler form over here. It has different handwritten field like first name, last name, date of birth, date of interview, education, skill set, designation and gender. This is one radio button. This is one drop down. This is date time field. So I have different type of combination here and at the bottom we have the schedule button. Now how we can create the power apps by using this image. Let's see and this is the same image that I have on my paper at this moment. So now let's try to explore this feature. So before we proceed further if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far do follow me. So first of all, open make.powerapps.com and over here you will be having an option image. Also there is one more option Figma for express design. But in this video let's focus on image. I will create dedicated video for Figma very soon. So let me just click on image and first of all here we need to upload one image file. Now over here at this moment it is supporting JPEG and PNG file. Now over here there are a couple of guidelines. So let's say you need to use a form with the light background color. Then you need to use clearly legible forms like this. You cannot use complex form like this. And at this moment it is only support one page form. So don't use multiple pages at this moment. Click on next and first you need to provide the name of the power apps you want to create. So I want to create interview schedule app so i am selecting interview schedule and over here there are two options you can upload your own image or you can start with the sample image so when you click on start with sample image it will show couple of samples like this but let's not cover up that part let's upload our own image and now over here I want to create my app for my phone factor so I am selecting phone from here. Now let's upload the file. So over here I am uploading same JPEG file and click on next. Now in the next step it is detected all the fields over here. So let's say this is my label so it mark that as text. Over here, this is my label, first name, last name. These are my text input. So when you hover over it, it will show you it is tagged as a text input. Now, if you wanted to change that, you can simply delete that tag and re-tag that thing. Okay. So this is my date time and it is considered as a date picker. This is gender and this is the radio button. So it tagged properly. This is date of interview. But over here, you can see it didn't detect this date picker. So let me just drag that. So I'm selecting this and now let's tag as a date time field. So I'm selecting date picker. Okay. And at this moment you can see it is supporting this many of type text label, text input, button, checkboxes, radio, rectangle, date picker, combo box, rating, slider and toggle. Okay. So rest of the things are correct. Skill set is proper. Education is proper. And this is my drop down or combo box. That's fine. And this is my text label. It is detected as but this is not text label. It's my button. So I'm just 
removing deleting the tag or maybe i can just change that as a button okay so it is tagged as a button so you can see from overall page it has detected this many of tagging okay so now let's click on next we are done now there are two options now you can create the data words table behind the scene or you can skip that for now but now let me just create a table in dataverse with all the fields so i'm clicking on next and you can see that it is detected all the field over here and most of the time what happen here is you can see these are my two date fields so data type is date but for radio button at this moment it is not showing me the choice data type it is just showing as a uh, text data type behind the scene and for drop down as well and when we try to change it what happen here is when we click on that and when we select this data verse table field and when we expand the data type you will not be able to see the choice column so let's keep as it is and it didn't detected my button that's good because it's not something which we need to apply as a part of data verse okay so different fields has detected properly from here you can check the table property as well and if you wanted to change the name of the columns you can simply click on that and you can simply change it from here okay so it sounds good to me now i'm clicking on next from here and it is showing me the summary of my table and over here as well the same edit icon and now let's click on create it will take some time to create your app and here we are our power apps has been created successfully you can see it has created one form tag and over here this is our label and these are the different field which is absolutely perfect only thing is that in radio button it captured zero as well but obviously we can modify that so let me just open up my form obviously i need to do some minor tweaks here to make it proper so what i'm doing here is i'm just making it like this looks good and i just wanted to change my header so i'm just dragging that i'm just applying some sort of colors so let me apply this color and let me apply some font color and let me just this style bold and center so looks good and now let me just modify this so over here it has detected zero so let me just remove it because i have only two option male and female as a part of gender so i am just making some tweaks okay date of interview is fine date of birth is fine education is fine skill set is good designation is junior developer you can add another thing as well like power platform specialist and all good you can see it perfect it has created the button as well at the bottom so let's just write one line of code on the button called submit form so submit form is just submitting my form to the server that's it okay now let's save our power apps and publish it so i'm just saving it and publish it now let me show you one more interesting thing whenever you created this power apps behind the scene there is one dataverse table and when you open your dataverse table over there as well you will be able to see all the columns which are created automatically all right so now we just added one submit form code and now you can just store that data to your dataverse table and that will work for you so this is how you can simply create your power apps from image isn't that cool just share your opinion with me in the comment section that do you really like this feature or do you think which are the enhancement area as a part of preview in this feature so share your thoughts with me in the comment section if you find this video helpful hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and if you are for the first time to my channel don't forget to press the bell notification as well if you are looking for any consultation this is the website 
लेट्स वर्क टुगेदर एंड यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन माई ट्विटर इंस्टाग्राम एंड अदर सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स यूजिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस लिंक एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई अनादर चैनल डिजिटल थ्रोविन With this this is Thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye